Welcome to the video presentation on LTAB Aerial Bunch Cable Erection. First of all, before the line erection, the electric pole needs to be erected. In this video presentation, we will learn how the plain cement concrete PCC pole is erected on the pole pit. The usage and purpose of stay wire and strut poles in overhead system. How the lineman climbs on the erected PCC pole using a ladder and how he fixes accessories on the pole and lays the AB cable in the process of ABC line erection. Let us start with observing how the pole is erected and how the overhead line is erected after that. Let us see how the PCC pole is lifted with the help of a crane. It is very important to balance the pole before erecting it. This is to ensure that there is no damage to the pole. The pole is always lifted from the minor axis using the cantilever system. The major axis surface is kept vertical. Here the pole has been hooked to the crane and is being lifted up while carefully balancing the pole. Here you can see the lineman anchoring the base of the pole. Now you can see that the pole is hooked straight and placed vertically. Anchoring is essential as we have to erect the pole in a pit. The lineman and his assistant align the pole on both the sides with the help of a rope. The crane has to move slowly till the pole is placed in the pit. Here you can observe that the pole is being placed inside the pit carefully. It is first placed onto the cemented base plate while aligning it with the side anchors simultaneously. Here you can see that the pole has been placed firmly after its erection. There is a 4 inch cement slab on the base plate already. The pit has been refilled with soil using a soil tamper to ensure that the soil is tight around the pole and the pole is placed firmly. Use the spade to push in the soft soil so that the pole is firmly placed. In addition to this, hard soil is also filled so that the pole is firmly embedded in the ground. This is the way a PCC pole is erected. A similar procedure is adopted for erection of other poles. In all, there are 7 PCC poles and 2 strut poles in this LTABC line. The stay wires are fitted at both the ends of the poles. Here you can notice that the line man is climbing on the erected pole using a ladder. Can you observe that the ladder is tied from the upper end? An assistant lineman is gripping and holding the ladder. He will provide support to the lineman from the ground. Here you can see that the assistant lineman is handing over tools to the lineman through the rope from the ground.
Here, we can see that the lineman is tightening the cross arm and opening the safety rope or Zola from the pole to go upward. Now, the lineman has climbed onto the cross arm. You can observe the lineman standing on the cross arm and fixing the Zola and safety belt over the pole. A helper is providing tools and eye hook from the ground through a rope. Here, the lineman is fitting the eye hook by inserting it on the holes of the PCC pole. Here, you can observe that the helper is providing the required tools and the lineman is tightening the eye hook. Here, the lineman is placing a pulley on the eye hook. A rope is being inserted by the line man into the pulley. Line man inserts the cable end into the pulley. Here, the cable is being pulled by the ground staff through a rope. Here, you can observe that the cable is being pulled by the ground crew. Now, the cable is being pulled over branches through the pulleys. Now, you will see how the complete overhead network of LTABC is erected. At the end of the pole, the stay wire is fixed. The end clamp is kept on top. For the seven poles, where ABC laying has been done completely, we have pulled the AB cable with the help of rollers. You can see the complete stretch as you are watching Cross arms are being kept on each pole so that the lineman can stand on it and do his work. As you can see, after the third pole, the cable is turned. As the cable is turned, a strut pole is added to give vertical and horizontal support. A 9 meter pole is erected at 75 degrees angle and mounted on it. End connectors are added to the stay wire. The pole is supported from three sides. One more pole is kept at a 75 degrees angle to support the pole. This strut pole pushes it forward. Flying stay wire maintains the stress with the messenger wire to keep the pole balanced and straight. The ABC cable is going straight through the trees. A cross arm is kept on every pole so that the lineman can climb easily. We have reached a dead end where the strut is kept. At this end, the cable is left at the substation. The cable will be used for onward connection as an additional feeder through the substation and will go to another source. Now, let's take a closer look at the LTABC overhead system with its accessories and how connections are made to the distribution box for providing a service line to the customers. I would now like to explain the LTABC overhead distribution network. ABC stands for Aerial Bunch Cable which has a bunch of six cables. Among these, three are phase cables in red, yellow and blue. One is neutral, the other is for street light and the bare one is called messenger cable. This provides the earthing and takes the load of the LTABC. In this video presentation, we have seen how an ABC overhead line is erected and completed up to the dead end for making an additional LT feeder. We have also acquired the knowledge about the accessories used in LTABC.